not rock. I'm not even t like I'm not even entertaining you after this. What are you gonna do? Nothing. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna catch a body. <laughs> Get out of my car. Brokey. Talk a lot of shit. <laughs> what are we doing? You think like you think she's sweet? It's really not. She thinks you're sweet. That's the issue. What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, what we're going to be reacting to. All right. I had a couple of you guys hit me up about Jay Cook's video on this prank, this prank, which a lot of you guys are saying is staged. But also that his girlfriend, Sellys, right here is very disrespectful towards him in this stage prank. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the video, all right? I already watched this shit last night. Something told me to react to it, but I actually ended up watching this last night, all right? So I'm just going to go ahead and get my opinion on it. I'm going to watch it for a second time. Before we get into the video, man, make sure you tell a friend and tell a friend and tell they ain't your mama, tell they uncle Joe. He's still a mother freaking hoe. Let's get right into it, man. Let's do it. When I start showing him some of the items that I stocked for his car, he's just going to gonna start finding like condom condom wrappers used condoms whatever it is he's just gonna start finding them as of right now i do think i'm just gonna blame him and be like what the fuck i don't know yet we'll see how this goes but yeah stay tuned i hope you guys like this video and let me know in the comments if you guys want to see some more videos like this you gotta be sneaky you gotta be very sneaky to do things like these but yeah it's get back season for real now let's just freaking wait he's in the store right now yeah i will get back to this video when he comes back in the vehicle two hours later i was waiting i was okay. trying to take a ship i need the ship <laughs> trying to take a okay. shit at the gas station yeah, some tea tree. yeah. Some tea if you ever take a shit at a gas station you know that was your last resort nobody wants to take a shit at the gas station i was telling them that you got a snacks for later but you got one snack babe <laughs> you got one snack Is that and you already opened it on the way here I didn't know you... That's that's wrong. That's very we wrong. We can't just share this? When I said I didn't want anything, I just assumed you were going to be like, oh, she doesn't want anything. Let me... Bitch, I can't read your fucking mind. Grab some of the things the she hell? likes. Not actually not get me anything. <laughs> I don't even eat these. Not the we're point. Touch you. I think this is the best... Tell me I did not eat down getting you this. What is it? I, there's a it few. Like dog food. What is I bought that? two. What are you doing? I'm sh we're about to sh sh show them everything I bought for your car, baby. <clears throat> she did. This is the she best flavor. That, this is fire. this is cherry. Coronado I cherry? I don't know how to say it. Usually like oh, if like I don't get in a car if I've been in a car or a house within a five minute proximity and I just walk back in, I walk out, walk back in, I can't smell the difference, you know? But like this is such a good scent, I could smell this stuff. Yeah, I bought two. She I don't know. Got... I don't remember where I put the other one in here, but there's it's not I put a bunch of stuff in here. Yeah, I got myself a blankie. I just saw this. this is crazy. So this is for you. Well, some of the stuff is for me, but don't you want me to be comfortable in here? We about to be getting I feel freaky like in the back. <laughs> in your wildest dreams, not with not getting me no fucking candy. Dreams. You didn't get me. Sh in your wildest dreams is crazy for one. All right, I didn't even know she said that when I first watched it. In your wildest dreams is crazy. How do you? How have you never smashed your girl in the back seat? Shit from the store. You're not getting shit. You're not gonna get none of this candy. This is a perfect car for for a little, little, little. You know what I'm saying? No. You put the seats down. I wouldn't know no. nothing about it because you didn't want to give me no snacks. Look, we can even put the uh, <laughs> we can even stick the phone to the top. Make a movie, eh? Make a movie. Don't jab me up. You know you're not even... I'm not. So not. what are you talking about? Sally's does not have... What are we does talking not, about? Does not... We have never... This This maybe maybe too, too much. Yeah, too much. Don't even say nothing. People don't need to know our business. Okay. She don't get jiggy in the car. Let's just say that. That's just what it is. Not with you. She don't get jiggy in the car with you. Trust me. She's got jiggy in the car before. Facts. The problem is your girl does not respect you. That's the issue. All right. Let me know right now if we're going to start airing each other's business. Off. You can just tell when a woman doesn't respect their man or in lesbian relationships when you could tell you could tell when a woman does not respect that woman or that man. And it's just terrible. It makes for a toxic relationship. You know. It just does. 
And I just hate to see it, you know what I'm saying? Because Jay Cook seems like just a, you know, like a like a good guy. He seems like a genuinely good guy. He wants a good relationship, a healthy relationship. But at the end of the day, my nigga, this is not it. You know, this is not it. But hey, if he likes it, I love it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Do you. I'm just saying. Y'all gonna see why I say what I say. Oh, I don't get freaky or is it just not hitting in the car? Anyways, you I don't have... get freaky in the car. Can I like go okay, on okay, with the okay, items that I got for the car? <laughs> Thank you. I have these girly clips on the side. I really, you want to know what I really was gonna do? Boom. I really was gonna add like little sp a sparkly seatbelt thing at Walmart. They had one where it's like you put it right here and it's like a seatbelt. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Like a little pad. Yeah. What does that do for your chest? Just probably not to irritate from the strap. Probably. I can even put your initials. I should get your your initials right here. Yeah. Oh shit! Just so that you know. But let's get know. married first. Fuck all that. You the only. All right. One in this Let group. me show y'all. Let me show y'all. I got my. What is this called? You marry that girl? Mm. What? I didn't see that. Mm. Babe. Okay, okay. Marrying somebody who don't respect you, right? Or having a kid by somebody who don't respect you. Hey, go ahead. This is our car. What is that? It's really mm. your car. These are for me. Again, more stuff for me. For me. Uh, my other stuff. I got some napkins. All right, let's I fast forward. You take shit, Okay. I was waiting. Listen. What the fuck? I put Listerine right here. Grab it. Grab the Listerine. What you mean, grab the Listerine? There's a whole grab. condom in my shit. That's yours. That was. That's that's not mine. Babe, what the fuck? That's not mine. That's yours, babe. What the <laughs> fuck? Nah, like off camera. What the fuck is this? Did that come in the car when you got the car? Babe, stop being funny. <laughs> Why is there an open condom wrapper in my shit? That got nothing to do with me. You just said it yourself. I do not get jiggy in the car. That got nothing to do with me. This got nothing to you do with me. You were the one being all excited about being jiggy in the car. So what the fuck is that? You hey, got caught. First off, Should've thrown there's, your a, evidence there's a away. whole un, uh, opened ra uh, condom wrapper and another one. That's unopened. Okay, you're clearly fucking with me. Another Can I move one. on with my I'm haul? not fucking with you, but you're fucking with me. And Can it's I move fucking on with, with my haul? <laughs> got gum? <laughs> Baby, I don't... Put that shit away. Don't nobody give a fuck about the gum. You have a whole condom wrapper. Right? All right, so let me know thus far. Do y'all think this is a stage prank or a real prank? Comment down below and let me know, all right? Either way, the shit is about to get very disrespectful. Hey, why is this a me You're the thing? one that stopped the car. I haven't even driven this shit last. You drove it last, so what the fuck so what, are you doing? I, I said what I was doing, and I'm clearly truthful. All of the new items are all throughout your car. Why are you stuttering? I have never stuttered a day in my life, sir. Say it with a straight face that these aren't your... Those are not mine. You're fucking lying your ass off. Like, I literally... I ain't got nothing to lie about. That's yours. I'm about to throw this. <laughs> to me, my opinion on if this is a staged or real prank. To me, it seems like it started off real, but he probably just went with it at a certain point. Babe, there's no fucking way. What? There's a used, there's a used condom. Let me see. You're lying. In my door. Let me see. No, because at this point... Because like, that's yours. I think at this... Like, this second condom right here, I think he obviously knows this is a joke. Because there's no way there's fucking... Con I'm finding condoms everywhere. It's condom central at this moment in time. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way I'm going to find a condom here, a condom there. At this point, you want me to find the condoms. All right? That's not even mine. I don't believe you. Because what are you talking about? <clears throat> well, uh, bro... I'm definitely about to crash out right now if you're not fucking with me. Why would I fuck with you in your car? Like, these are clearly yours. Like, you're fucking with I'm me. I'm not picking this shit up. I'm gonna crash out on you. Fuck you talking about. Yeah, at this point right here, I don't, I don't feel like he believes it. No, no. If he ever did. Maybe he never believed it. Maybe this really was 100% a stage prank. Me for. <laughs> 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 Dude. That's you. That's, That's you. the craziest part. And what's so fucking crazy is I... If this was real, you wouldn't be just propping this shit up on your new fucking Range Rover, uh, uh, what do you call this shit? Middle console. You just wouldn't do that. We don't use condoms, and two, 
Dude. You use my car last. I'm like, honestly, I am fucking shocked right now. Like, I don't even know what to say. Enhance I'm hot simulation as fuck. Like, I'm for her? Hot. These are yours. These were never mine to begin with. I don't know who put that there. That had nothing to do with me. Throw that away. Why the fuck is... Oh my god. Throw that away. You this gotta be this is not me this right is now. all you. Like or maybe the, it came with the car or I don't know. <laughs> it came Here, with the car. Away. Baby, I mean You're getting lubricant Sally's. all over your new car. Sellies is crazy. I Just please just give me a second to breathe. Stop moving your feet. Like, you think this shit's funny. This shit's not funny. I'm just confused what we're upset about. I'm so confused right now. Like, I'm honestly trying to keep my cool. But, like, I don't seeing know a how used condom, this is... Those got there, actually. I, I literally... Bro, what the fuck is that? No way. Those were there all day today. No, 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 I just no. assumed saying, it came with at, the car. At this point, now there's this live fucking nut on my da on my dash. That's a middle console. It's like I said, dash. I don't care. Like, what are you doing? You should care. <laughs> why are you driving my car? I stalked your car. You're you welcome. You stalked my car, but why is there? Explain why there's stalked your car with condoms. Condoms in my <laughs> car. I did like, explain. I did condoms explain. Don't just pop I up. did explain. Those are not mine. They are yours. Explanation <coughs> granted. Somebody's got to be fucking with me. Cause rock, I'm paper, not, scissors to see who's really fucking with who. I'm not rock. I'm not even, t like, I'm not even entertaining you after this. What are you going to do? Nothing. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to catch a body. You're fucking with me. Get out the car. Get out my face. Get out my car. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm being dead ass. Get out my car. Brokey. Talk a lot of shit. <laughs> what are we doing? You think, like, you think she's sweet. It's really not. She thinks you're sweet. That's the issue. You know what I'm saying? She throws a condom in your fucking face twice. She says, what are you going to do? Right? Because she knows you're not going anywhere. She could treat you any type of way, which is the reason why the dynamic of the relationship is what it is. <clears throat> a blind man can see. She doesn't respect you, bro. She's calling you brokey and all of this other shit, right? Come on, man. Wake up. Sweet. Wake up. I don't know why you gotta get so serious for it. Those are not mine. I said that already. They have nothing to do with me. Those are yours. Period. Are we done here? Conversation over. Can we move on? You really think I would use those condoms? <laughs> What's so funny? But this is just the joke skis. Like, just chill. What you mean it's a joke? Ain't nothing, there's playing. nothing funny about this. I don't know why you're, like, so upset. I just said it's a joke. Just chill. And how is it a joke? I put these here on purpose. So you mean to tell me you open this shit? Gotcha, bitch! You open a, a whole condom. Gotcha, bitch! You almost got yourself. That's the crazy you You're okay with your girl calling you a bitch is wild. That's wild. That guy. Fake prank or not, you're allowing your woman to call you a bitch. It's crazy. <laughs> you got got. You got got. You almost you got, got, got yourself. I'm telling you. You got right got. Now. You got got. <clears throat> you like that. You like that. No, like I'm. And a lot of people are judging Sellies. And I'm going to just say this. Sally's might be wild and she might do wild shit, but he allows it. So obviously he loves it there. So let him be there. You know what I'm saying? Sally's ain't doing anything that he's not allowing. Point blank period. I'm like you know? honestly in the inside. When a woman is dealing with a weak dude, she 
Sometimes gets masculine. Sometimes she gets dominant. Sometimes she starts being aggressive and shit like that. Because now she's feeling like, okay, my nigga don't wear the pants. So I'm going to have to put these motherfuckers on. Somebody got to have the masculine dynamic in here. So if it's not you, it's going to be me. So now I'm going to tro- control this and I'm going to be the leader of this relationship. But that makes for a toxic dynamic, as you guys can see. Shake it's never that hot, You know, I'm so pissed fuck. about that you really did, oh, only got you some motherfucking candy. That's what you get. I should put five Babe. condoms in your car to <laughs> fuck with you. Let's just rewind. You just did a, a whole, you just had, you just staged condoms here? And yeah. <clears throat> get over it. It's done. It's dealt with. And you know, like I said, stage prank or not, I just imagine that their arguments are similar to this right here. You know, I could be wrong, but she probably does the same thing and acts the same way when they get into it for real. You know, she knows that he's not going anywhere, no matter how she acts and behaves. So with that being said, like I said, the dynamic is fucked. It is That's what it is. Crazy. I did my big one. Fuck with me. Thank you. You almost caught up. You big got one. got. You got got. Look, man. Play, play with me. Really. Play with me. Try to be, <laughs> why are you in such a goof? She don't take him serious at all. He moved. Like I have not seen you Cause, stop. Cause you got got. You did get me. Cause you, you got, got me got. like way too good to the point where I'm like I'm. I'm needing to bring myself down right now. Can I can I have one of these? Since you only got one bag. Well, yeah, these are actually not that bad. That's crazy. Wait. Well. Oh my God. Justice got got. No, you got. Sally's got one. Me. You Justice. got me. Just a zero. We did get lubricant all over his new car. I do I feel bad. Wait, put that, back. put that no, back no, no, no. in here. I'm being serious, babe. No, okay, I, that was a great. put that back in here. I'm not touching that. That was a great prank. <laughs> but I definitely need to like calm myself down. So I'm gonna go Can you walk. Relax, dude. Finish your <laughs> stocking <laughs> video. It's done. Actually, can you show him what's actually on the side of I'm your car? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find this shit hilarious. In a couple minutes, brother. Right now, babe, I'm just saying, like I. <laughs> Can you just, just show them what's on the whole, side of your door? I whole dude, show them. I thought, crashing out. In my head, what was going on? Yeah, what the fuck do you know about crashing out? I've never heard you say the word. In my I'm gonna head, crash out. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm be straight up. Young blood. Young in blood, my head, what I was blood, thinking was, I literally just talk i literally had just said that you don't get jiggy in the car and then you literally so that's you see how i flipped it on you i really like in my head envision like a dude hit, like this is a result of chopping off your balls putting them on a silver platter and handing them to your woman when your woman knows that you won't pick up and fucking leave her ass when she does some disrespectful shit, you get this type of behavior, all right? Let's take a deeper dive into the comments and let's see what the people have to say, all right? Let's get into it. All right, oh, the first comment, the number one comment, Selly seems like she's losing respect for him. Yes, they both make money in the relationship, but as long as Justice been on YouTube, he should have he should have someone whose energy is <laughs> submissive. Well, you have to be masculine to have a woman submit, all right? And a woman cannot submit to you if you, if she knows that you won't leave her no matter what the fuck she does, all right? Women are going to test your gangster, all right? And when they find out that you're not a gangster, they're going to fucking leave you. They're going to bang on you and leave you, all right? Or just use you and be the leader of the cartel in y'all's relationship, okay? You don't want them type of problems. Trust me, I'm letting you know. You can tell she's been running the household and he allowed it for so long her head got big. I'm not going to lie to you. I am not going to lie to you. Second top comment. I love Jay Cook and Sellys both. I've been watching Jay Cook whole fam since they started YouTube. But in my personal opinion, this prank was very distasteful on Selly's part. First of all, prank or not, 
The way she carried herself through this whole thing was unattractive and made me lose hella respect for her. Well, this is the thing. She's only acting that way because she has a man who is not acting like a man, all right? I'm not saying that she's not wrong for acting in the way that she did, but at the same time, if a nigga's gonna stay around for that type of treatment, what can you say, all right? Calling him a B word and singing brokey in the middle of the prank when he looks visibly uncomfortable and hurt. Dapping him up like she is one of his homeboys. Girl, just distasteful. Prank or not, she should respect you more. Well, he should respect himself more, right? To not tolerate a disrespectful bitch, all right? Point blank period. Especially if she's so pressed about marriage. Girl, act like a wife. <laughs> well, he needs to act like a man. I'm just being honest, all right? And like I said, if he chooses to wife this woman, which it seems like he's going down that path and putting a baby in her, oh my God, Jesus, Lord, oh my God. Having a woman who doesn't respect you, have your kid or you wife her up, bro. oh my God. Hey, I'm not going to tell you what to do, my nigga. If you want to make that move, go for it. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? God damn. All right. Girl, act like a wife. And then it just annoyed me so bad when she said, I stopped your car. You're welcome. <laughs> like filling his car with feminine hygiene products like a bathroom <laughs> was doing him a favor. Now, it seemed like damn near everything that she stocked his car with was beneficial to her. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what happens, ladies and gentlemen, when, you know, uh, the man is just not being the man. It makes for a toxic relationship because the woman in all actuality does not want to wear the pants. It might seem that way, but she's only having to wear the pants because she doesn't have a man that is wearing the pants, if that makes sense. So, fellas, y'all got to stop allowing these chicks to bend you over and fuck you, all right? You have to um, stand on business, okay? If you don't stand on business, then, uh, yeah, this type of thing will happen to you. And you don't want these type of problems like I just said. All right? So let me know what you think in the comment section down below, man. Uh, yeah. This is not the first time that Sally has been disrespectful towards him and, and treats him like he's a second-class citizen and that she, I mean, that he is beneath her and all of these things, but it's only because... The dude doesn't respect himself, man. And I fuck with Jay Cook, man. You know, I really do. But at the end of the day, man, you have to stand up for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care what you have invested in any relationship. You have to have the balls enough to walk away. I don't care how much feelings you have for this woman or, oh my gosh, I'm in love with her and I'll never find nobody else like her, bro. The moment that she knows that you will not walk away from her, she cannot dis I mean <clears throat> she cannot respect you, fam. She can't. You know? She needs a nigga with a backbone who has solid boundaries and standards for himself, which <clears throat> if you do not meet those standards, he has to let you go. No matter how he feels. Alright? Hey man, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Shout out to Selly. Shout out to Jay Cook as well. I wish the best for him, even though I see the train wreck. Uh, you know, and I just got to keep it a stack. I got to keep it a thou wow. I got to keep it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want my genuine opinion, I'm going to give it to you, right? I have nothing against Sally's, Jay Cook, or the relationship. It's not my fucking relation. I don't give a shit at the end of the day, right? But if you want my real raw opinion, there it is. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let me, let, 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 let me know what other type of reactions y'all want me to do. And other than that, man, make sure you tell a friend and tell a friend and tell they ain't your mama and tell they uncle Joey still a motherfucking hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video when I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.